channel 33 RPM. Today, bulk cleaning all the records I bought this summer. I'll show you how I do it coming up next. Channel 33 RPM. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome to Sunday. It's on channel 33 RPM. It's finally that time where I have to clean all the records I bought this past summer. And I picked these up at garage sales, thrift stores, uh, record stores, that kind of thing. And I've showed most of these over the past couple of months. And there's probably, I don't know, 20, 25 records that are used records that I need to clean. So typically, if I have one or two records to clean, I'll use my disc washer or the Groove washer record cleaning system. I showed that to you a couple months ago, but for bulk cleaning, there's only one thing I use, and that's my Spin Clean. Check it out. It's hard to believe, but the Spin Clean was introduced way back in 1974. Today, the basic kit includes the washer, basin, and lid, washer fluid, one pair of brushes, one pair of rollers, and two washable drying cloths. The Spin Clean tends to get mixed reviews in the vinyl community. Personally, I love mine, but in certain circumstances, it really doesn't make sense to use the Spin Clean if you're just cleaning one or two or three records, because you have to make a whole batch of fluid every time you use it. And according to Spin Clean, one batch of fluid it should be able to clean 20 to 50 records, but it really depends on how dirty your records are. For me, I found it can easily, easily clean 20 to 30 records, and that's how many we're doing today. Okay, I brought the camera down so you can see exactly what's going on here. Here's the inside of the spin clean. There's two rollers. These are the rollers that come with the spin clean. You put them in the far brackets for cleaning 12 inch records, which we're doing today. Here are the uh, brushes, and these are what rubs against the record and helps get it clean. So you just kind of insert those right there. Really, the next thing you have to do is add distilled water. And they recommend distilled water rather than tap water because it doesn't have those minerals and other potential contaminants in there that could um, potentially damage your records. I'm going to pour this in. I'm going to pour it in um, the water in right over the uh, brushes. And there's a line here. So I'm going to fill this up to the line. By the way, before I forget, distilled water. You can get this at most uh, pharmacies, uh, even Walmart and places like that. This is about a dollar for four liters or a gallon, so it's not very expensive. Now here's the spin clean fluid, and the next step is to pour this into the reservoir and pour it right over the brushes. This one says pour one capful of spin clean washer fluid over the brushes. So that's what we'll do. We will pour exactly one cap of this fluid in. Oh, I spilled a bit. Ugh. Here's the collection of records, by the way. You've seen most of these uh, this summer. Teenage Head, Combat Rock, Casino Royale, the uh, Bon Jovi Garage Sale Pickup, Tom Petty, Van Halen, Led Zeppelin, uh, and on and on. Tesla. Some things I got at record stores, but you know, I still want to clean anyway. So for this particular test, I think we're just going to go and uh, clean this Teenage Head record. So all you do is you insert it into the spin clean like that. And the company recommends rotating the record clockwise three times and then counterclockwise three times. I usually do a couple more spins just for good luck. So let's go. Here's the cloth the spin clean came with. These are washable. I've washed them. I've had my spin clean for a couple years and these still last and I have washed them a couple times. So then I just give it, if you can see that there, just give it a quick dry. So I clean it with the supplied ones, but I find they don't necessarily do the best job. So I supplement that by cleaning uh, the records with these record cleaning cloths that I got from Bags Unlimited, which is an online store. I believe they're based in Rochester, New York. There we go, the record is still a little bit wet. So what I do is I have this dish rack, which I purchased from the dollar store. And I leave them in there until they're dry. When they're dry, I take them out. There we go, the record is clean and dry. The final thing I like to do after I clean a record is place it in a brand new inner sleeve. In this case, I'm gonna use these original master sleeves from MoFi, which also help to control static because you don't wanna put your clean record in a dirty old inner sleeve. There you go, ta-da! That's today's episode. Let me know how you clean your records. What are your techniques? What are your tricks? What are your secrets? We would love to know. Let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. You'll never miss another episode again. Guys, I have a sale going on in the, 33, in the channel 33 RPM uh, merchandise store. I'll leave a link to that below. Do check it out if you're interested. If not, no worries. 
Uh, otherwise, have a fantastic week. We'll see you all again real soon. Until next time, keep on spinning.